Hi, my name is Richard Duffy. I am the SAP Business One Product Evangelist. I'm part of the SAP Small and Mid-Sized Enterprise Global Team. And I'd like to welcome you to today's live demonstration of SAP Business One. What I'm gonna focus on in this demonstration is I'm gonna show you some of the more advanced aspects of SAP Business One. Some of the things that you would not necessarily expect to find in a product um, that is targeted at the small and mid-sized enterprises. Certainly a product that is as cost effective as SAP Business One. Those features are our workflow processing, our approvals, and then I'm gonna take you in and show you a little bit of the administration. Not gonna bore you with setup, but show you how easy it is to configure some of the parameters in SAP Business One. So with that, let's dive in and take a look. Now when I do this, I'm gonna be demonstrating as if I was two different people, because I'm gonna show a workflow scenario where one of my users, and you're gonna to have to pretend uh, I'm a lady called Sophie Clogg. So Sophie is in our sales team. She's gonna be processing some orders. And then I'm also gonna be Sophie's manager, and that's me, Richard. Uh, and I'm gonna to have to um, approve some transactions that Sophie's going to put in. So let's get going. So I'm currently logged in as myself, Richard Duffy. I'm the manager at OEC Computers, and you can see I've got my finance cockpit. I'm sitting here doing my job, uh, and also working at the company, we have a lady called Sophie Clogg. Like I said in my introduction, you just have to stretch your imagination a little bit and pretend that I am Sophie. But I'm gonna log in here as Sophie as well. And you can tell the difference. Um, Sophie's user interface looks a little bit different. She doesn't have access to the cockpit yet because she's only a fairly new user in the company. So we don't want to overload her with, uh, with too much information at this point in time. So Sophie's in the sales team and she is processing sales orders. Now she's only new and I want to make sure that every order that she puts in is being double checked. So I've set up the workflow procedure in SAP Business One, and what it's gonna do is every time Sophie puts in an order, it's gonna automatically send that through to me to be checked. So let's go ahead and do that. So Sophie goes in here into sales orders. She's got the customer on the phone, and her customer is Earthshaker Corporation. She's talking to Bob McKensley, and Bob wants to place an order for some IBM InfoPrint printers. So she goes in here and she picks the printer, so it's the IBM InfoPrint 1312. And Bob wants five of those, which is great. So Sophie is gonna go ahead and process the order and everything seems to be okay. The system's automatically doing all the calculations for her. And she's gonna say add. Now what you'll see here is that the authorization workflow template has automatically popped up. She puts in her comment, please approve this order. Now, I'm gonna to have to be very, very quick here because as soon as she says, okay, I'm gonna go back across here to my screen and I'm sitting here again as uh, Richard Duffy. And you may have heard that little audio cue. What that means is that I have received a new um, alert. And you can see it down here my request for document approval has come up in my messages and alerts window inside SAP Business One in my cockpit. So all I do is I double click on that and you can now see, there it is, I've got a request for a document approval. Now, Sophie's order hasn't actually been processed yet, it's been saved as a draft. So it's a sales order based on draft number 249. I can open that up and here it is. It's pending, document number 249. It's been sent to me for order approval, and right now it's in the sales approval stage because I can have multiple stages. After I've approved it, it might need to go to somebody else, but we're not, uh, we're not making it that complex in this situation. So what's my answer? Well, is it pending, is it approved or not approved? Well, how am I gonna make the decision? Again, I've got my golden arrows here, so one click, I can now drill down look at the order. I can see my information here. I can see that's the IBM InfoPrint printer. I can see she's selling it for $500. Now, what I might wanna do, I might wanna check my gross profit. So I right click on it. There's my gross profit. I can see 
that my gross profit's looking pretty good, okay? Uh, anybody out there watching this who's actually in the printer resale industry will know that 65% gross profit margin on selling printers is pretty good. Um, but anyway, we've, uh, we've got the good, uh, good level of gross profit, so I'm happy with that. Sophie's got all the information that we need. She's put in the posting date, she's put in the delivery date, she's put in the document date, so everything's okay. One other thing I might want to check, actually, let's go back to that document. I'm just going to have a quick look at, um, at Bob McKensley and at Earthshaker's account balance. What they owe us, $9,000, that's not too bad. Got quite a lot of orders in the system. And we're working on five pretty big deals. So that's all good. I'm happy with that. So what am I going to do? I'm now going to approve the order. And I'll say update and OK. And then if I go back as Sophie, she's now working away, processing other orders, doing what she needs to do. And she's going to get uh, a little pop-up message in a second that's going to let her know that I've approved the order. So you can now see across in Sophie's screen, she's got her pop-up. The document generation is approved. So she selects that message. She can open it up. There's the order. Now, if she wants to, She's able to uh, view the history in the approval status report just by right-clicking on the order. She can look in and see the approval status report that it was approved, and it was approved by me on the um, 1st of June 2011 at 19 minutes past 10, so that's all good. So now all she has to do is go ahead and click on Add, and now the order gets processed. So that's an example of how the approvals process works inside SAP Business One. I'm gonna show you one other area inside SAP Business One, and that's what we call alerts. And then I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about how simple it is to set those things up. I've got an alert created that um, when anybody gives a discount that is greater than 10%, I wanna know about it because I wanna follow up on it. A lot of small businesses say one of the biggest problems they have is they have to spend a lot of time babysitting their business. The way to look at SAP Business One, it's almost like having a 24 by seven manager that sits there and keeps an eye on the business for you. All you do is set up the parameters that you wanna keep track of and SAP Business One will automatically manage those things and alert you when it happens. So let's take a look at that process. So this time I'm gonna get Sophie to put in an invoice and she's gonna apply a discount that's way beyond uh, what we want uh, her to be doing. So I'll dive across here. I'm logged in as Sophie. So this time I'm gonna go in and put in an accounts receivable invoice. Gonna put this one in for Norm Thompson and Norm is going to buy some IBM InfoPrint 1222s. So he's gonna buy five of those. And then Sophie's gonna go down here and she's gonna put in a discount of 15% which is beyond what we want her to do. So when she goes and adds that, and we say yes, quickly if I toggle across, you'll hear that little message in the background, and you'll see that I have a new uh, alert that has come up here for me where there is a deviation from the discount in percentage from Sophie Clogg. So there you can see it, it's AR invoice number 233, and the deviation percentage for document was 15%. So I can go and look at that now, and I can see that Sophie's given that 15%. Now the difference between an alert and an approval is the approval stops the transaction from going through. The alert's just telling me that's it, that it has occurred. So I can still go and look at this transaction now, I can look at my gross profit, and I can see that from a gross profit perspective, we're still tracking pretty well, so I'm not too worried about that. And uh, as a result, I'm not gonna take any action. But the concept here is you can create that alert so you get notified when things happen inside the organization. So how difficult is it to create these alerts and these approvals? Well, it's very, very simple. Let me show you exactly how we do that. Without going into too much detail in our, uh, in our setup process, all I do is I go into SAP Business One, assuming I've got the, the rights. I go into administration. I go here into alerts management, 
And what you'll find is inside SAP Business One, out of the box, we deliver to you a number of predefined alerts. So here, for example, was our deviation from discount. I've flagged it as active. I've said anytime there's a discount that's more than 5%, I want Richard Duffy to be notified by the internal messaging system in SAP Business One. Now I can get it to send me an email out to my mobile device or to my Microsoft Outlook or whatever the case may be. And then I'm telling the system I want that to be triggered on sales orders and accounts receivable invoices. So it's that easy. So there's those predefined alerts, but you are also able to create your own alerts. And when you're creating your own alerts, all you need to do is create a query inside SAP Business One. And when that query evaluates to a true condition, so you can say, you know, um, select the invoice where the discount level is greater than 20%, that will evaluate to true when the discount put in is more than 20%, then the alert will fire. How do I do that? Well, really all I need to do is go in here and create my new alert. I open up a saved query. So I've got, I have to have a query actually created for me. And then I choose that query. I apply it, for example, to my, um, my alert. And anytime this query evaluates to true, What's gonna happen, it's gonna send a message to the people that I select here. Now it's gonna check that, it's gonna run that query on the basis of the frequency that I specify here. So right now I can say, I want this checked every hour, every day, every week. So I could say, I want this checked every week on Monday at 0700. So when I come in to the office, I'm automatically going to be presented with a list of any of the queries or any of the alerts that have been triggered for me at seven o'clock that morning. So again, the concept behind this is I set up the alerts that I want to know about and then the system will automatically tell me when I need to be aware that that has occurred. The approval procedures is just as easy. All I do is I go in here into approval procedures. First thing I need to do is I need to set up my stages. So a stage contains the information about who is going to approve it. So in the demonstration I gave you, we used this sales approval. It had to go to Richard Duffy and there was only one approval required. If there were two people that needed to approve it, I just add the second person in so for example, I could get it to go to Bob Schoen. Now in this case, either one of us can approve it or I can say two, and that now means that both of us have to approve that transaction before it can go through. So if you've got multiple delegations of authority, then with SAP Business One, you can track that. Then I set up my approval template and here is the approval template that fired. It was the order approval. It was gonna be fired when Sophie Clog created an order. I can also say I want this to fire when Bill Levine creates an order. And you can see here the documents I want it to be fired on is when they create a sales order. Now I can also get it to check their AR invoices as well if I want to. Same thing with purchases. Then I specify which stage do I want it to go through and that was our stage remember that I just set up before. And what terms. So I can say always so in this case, I always want to check both uh, Bill Levine and Sophie's orders and invoices. Or I can say when the following applies. And again, I've got all those standard examples. When there's a deviation from the credit limit, a deviation from the commitment, a gross profit percentage deviation, a discount percentage deviation, when they're exceeding a budget in the case of a purchase order, or when the total document is over or under or equal to a certain amount. Because when I say, total document, I can then go in here and say greater than, greater or equal to, less than, it's in a certain range, so there's a whole bunch of parameters I can select there. Or I can go in here and choose a predefined or a, a, a customized query that when that 
when that order gets processed by Bill or Sophie, it's gonna fire off that query. And then if the query evaluates to true, it's gonna stop the order from going through and it's gonna send the approval through to me. So that's how quick and easy it is to set up those alerts, those order approvals. I've also shown you how the approvals work. So hopefully that's given you a good understanding of that more advanced functionality in SAP Business One. You can click on the ask a question button if you've got any questions about what I've just shown you in this demonstration. Thank you.